If you had an Amiga, <clears throat> this is a really painful game to review on consoles. Trust me on that one, bro. Trust me. And I'll tell you why when the bloody joystick goes in. Yeah, for all its faults, uh, there's one thing all the 16-bit console games have in common. Well, most of them. Definitely the big titles. And uh, that would be they're fucking programmed properly. Now, you've already seen Lotus 2, admittedly in horrible quality. I'm working on that, mate. I'm actually recording this now with new settings on the uh, brightness and contrast and colour on the TV. And uh, yeah, the Amiga version is better because the glitter in the Amiga, even the 1985 Amiga 1000, is more powerful than the sprite hardware in the Mega Drive. Now there are some things you know, like the, uh, I think there's three or four layers of uh, background graphics for like uh, parallax scrolling and they're in 16 colours each and the sprites have their own unique palette but no mate, the glitter well, it's not really a glitter it's actually a blimmer block image manipulator not block image transferer that's the way it's called, that's what Byte Magazine said, and I think Byte Magazine know. And yeah, that's the point. The point is, the uh, Amiga version of Street Fighter 2 should have actually looked like this, and it should have sounded better than this. In fact, if someone with talent came along, this game would run on a box standard 1987 Acorn Archimedes. I'm sorry, these are the facts. You may not like them. This is the truth. Now you understand why this is a painful game to review. There is no Street Fighter on the Amiga. Don't look, please. Don't search for it. Leave it alone. Street Fighter 1, aka Street Fighter, on the Amiga should have taught you a lot. Because on the ST, that was almost well programmed, to be quite honest. Definitely for the time, because some idiot has got a two pixel uh, horizontal scrolling parallax high color cloud layer underneath all the buildings. Now you can't get the screen to scroll horizontally smoothly, the players, the, the regular background, but you wasted your CPU uh, power on scrolling the fucking clouds in the background. That was clever. Wasn't it? But anyway, both the ST and the Amiga in the right hands could do significantly better. Mortal Kombat proves that, and Mortal Kombat runs on a 1986 Amiga 1000. Doesn't run on a 1986 PC worth a shit. Any PC that was ever sold. And that's the thing. It's like the Saturn. The Saturn can do games like uh, Virtua Fighter 2 and Sega Rally. No problem. Can do it. You can't say you can't do it. Unfortunately, it's incredibly hard to do that quality of Sega Saturn game. And you know what? You try programming an Amiga and using the maximum that you can get out of the copper, the blitter, and the 7 MHz 68000 at the same time, and possibly using the sprites for some mundane thing because they're pretty useless on the Amiga. And you start to see what the problem was back in the day. It's just not possible to fucking comprehend how pissed off people would be if they actually knew 
technically what the Amiga was capable of. And you a 7, 8 megahertz 68,000 in the ST with fast screen uh, memory access. They're both very capable machines. The sound on the ST is shit, I admit that. I'm not going to defend it. It's fucking Amstrad Nintendo 8 bit quality shit. Having said that, is better than the ZX Spectrum, so it could be worse. And at the end of the day, that's why reviewing Street Fighter 2 on the Super Nintendo PC Engine or the Mega Drive is a totally different uh, memory for us people who had an Amiga especially those who had one in the early days and we witnessed how the machine was strangled with decent software. All the good games on the Amiga are unofficial games. Outrun is shit, but Lotus Challenge is fucking amazing. Street Fighter is shit, but Shadow Fighter is fucking amazing. And so is Elf Mania, technically. We all know Elf Mania is a uh, fucking Super Mario combined with a beat em up collecting fucking coins, but uh, you can't argue with the graphics on that, the graphics are very good. For those console owners, it was always about, you know, how Nintendo got the coup, and Street Fighter 2 really saved Nintendo in Europe, because, you know, a £150 console was a lot of money to buy as a toy for a little six, seven year old little shit, you see, back in the UK and most of Europe, I would imagine too. So, you know, parents were looking at this thing and think, that's an expensive toy. How much are the games? We're not that fucking stupid like the Yanks. So I did sell fuck all. And then when Street Fighter 2 became a thing on the SNES, exclusive and then a bundled game, you know, because if you bought a Super Nintendo second hand, you're going to have to buy Street Fighter 2, brand new probably. But it sold like hotcakes mate, Sega didn't have that problem, they had their arcade uh, licenses in house. So again, you saw Afterburner on your Amiga or Atari ST, and unless you're a, that fucking prick who reviewed games for Amiga format and gave Deluxe Scrabble at 27.99, something like 80 something percent, really high mark, and then he gave fucking 34.99 Shadow of the Beast with a free t-shirt, which we all fucking wore, that's why they're so fucking rare now, uh, he gave it 67%. What kind of stupid cocksucker would rather play Deluxe Scrabble on the Amiga than fucking Shadow of the Beast? It's Rastan Saga meets fucking Robin Matthews, mate. Especially the overground level. What the fuck is wrong with these people? But anyway, then you got, you know, if you had a Mega Drive, the memories would be like... Um, we had to wait so long and if you're American and you had the, whatever they called the PC engine, some stupid name like TurboGrafx, GRFX or however they fucking spell it on that shit. Hideous, enormous console with a motherboard the size of uh, a pack of 20 cigarettes in there mate. Maybe uh, 20 and 10 cigarettes, fucking tiny, pack, pack it a fucking golden wonder crisps, that's how big the motherboard is, and they put it in this stupid case, almost as big as the uh, C64 GS, and just as fucking ugly and hideous, and dumb looking. They never even got Street Fighter 2, Japanese only fucking release. Probably some fucking backroom fucking jerk off between two fucking suited dumb cunts in uh, Capcom and Nintendo of America blocking anyone releasing it there. And uh, NEC weren't really. How could you not release Street Fighter 2 in America? 
even the dumbest fucking NEC American uh, rep would see Street Fighter fucking everywhere, in the arcades, on the TV, it's been in episodes, you know, I mean, you, you get Frogger episode of uh, Seinfeld, but you will get a Street Fighter 2 episode of some other totally unrelated program, like Father Ted, where they're playing Street Fighter 2 on the Amiga. They did release that version, it's fucking US Gold Street Fighter 2 for the Amiga, it's fucking horrible. And don't blame the ST either, I've done some fantastic 16 colour uh, graphics for Street Fighter 2 that will work on the ST, fantastic mate. And it's just a matter of, uh, you know, the programming skill, alright, you're going to lose a parallax and you might have to horizontally scroll the screen two pixels at a time. You might have to arrange the palette, you know, really cleverly. So eight colors for the backgrounds, eight colors for the uh, software sprites on top. But um, I think you'll find it's perfectly possible. If you want to see a horizontally scrolling fast arcade platformer on the Atari ST from 1985, the machine, not the uh, game, if you want to go and look at Enchanted, yeah, it's fucking amazing. It's up to uh, demo coding uh, skills because it was written by a demo coding team. Wrath of the Demon, that's another one, that's pushing the ST really hard. They probably should have left off the parallax and done a, you know, slightly smoother two pixel horizontal scroll, but, you yeah, know, it's bloody amazing. Let's go. Let's play Dirty Street Fighter. Is that the speed? What the hell does that mean? Special Champion Edition. That's how Sega retaliated. They got the coup on this, which they thought was a good idea. Uh, and a coup, and then Nintendo announced they're getting Super Street Fighter 2. And the wars continued. SNES had pretty much every version of Street Fighter 2 for the early 90s that was available. Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, you know, they've got all the bases covered in it. Now I'm using the uh, six button uh, Sega joypad for this. Right, so the uh, smaller buttons do all. So why have you got kick and kick? Ah, crap. Way more uh, junk mail. Great. Goes straight in the recycle bin. I should just uh, create a pipe that goes uh, from the post box directly into the recycle bin. You don't receive anything worth a shit in the post anymore. And some fucking uh, dickhead MP sends you uh, some fake handwritten letter with that stupid font, which I suppose some fucking chaps might actually think is real. Uh, saying all da da da, where the road works okay, blah blah blah. Hope you're enjoying your new, brand new, fresh road. When the reality is, they came and dug it up five days later because some idiot fucking millennials don't know what they're doing at the water company. So that got ruined, and then yesterday at fucking seven o'clock on a Sunday. <laughs> Got fucking steamrollers rolling up and down over fucking tiny bits of tarmac to patch it up. Half past seven on a Sunday, mate. A fucking bunch of wankers, mate. But this is a very nice version. And um, people talk about uh, Doom. Can you pause this shit? Yeah, there you go. See, people talk about Doom being the uh, 
a game style responsible for the death of the Amiga and the Amiga can't do it that well, certainly not as well as a 14 MHz VGA PC. Obviously remembering you need a 386 to run that game on a PC. But the point is, the Amiga was really fucked over by terrible arcade conversions. Terrible. And people look at OutRun on the Amiga, which you can probably buy for like five fucking pence on eBay. You try and find a copy of OutRun on the Mega Drive. For even under uh, 20 quid, just a loose cartridge, you won't do it. You'll be waiting for ages if you're going to be that tight about it. So you have to remember, you know, that was quite an influential game. People looked at the Amiga and it instantly dismissed it because uh, some games were just fucking horrible. Gauntlet 2 on the Amiga. Why doesn't it look like Gauntlet 4 on the Mega Drive? Because US Gold are fucking cocksuckers, mate. Those should work much better in the Amiga years. They'll release any old crap. But yeah, games like Street Fighter 2, they really... Bleh. Now, all the official games, apart from Mortal Kombat, were shit. Most games like that were shit. And the graphics in uh, Body Blows, they look like they've been done by a fucking eight-year-old who's just learned how to use Deluxe Paint. Classic days. <laughs> You can move the camera now. See, if this was an Amiga, we'd be fucked. She's alright for you, you can see the bloody TV. I've got a massive cat in front of me now. <laughs> and yet, I got so close. So, this game is very playable. Street Fighter 2 should be very playable. Mortal Kombat feels a bit. Nah, it doesn't feel as smooth as it could be. Well, amazingly. I've done loads of graphics for uh, Street Fighter 2 as well, you might tell. It's always the way the ones who do the graphics make the most of modern tools and CPU power as well to get the best. Buddy, what are you doing? I might actually win a, a battle here. You saw that. I was just about to win. <laughs> and something happened. And she didn't press the reset button. What the hell did she do? And there's nothing wrong with the machine. The power cable's not iffy. Oh man. There we go. Yeah. Oh, look, it's actually saved that. All right. Did we actually select that in the first place? Yeah, the first version of Street Fighter 2 on the uh, SNES. It wasn't that amazing. Um, fucking hell, Jesus Christ, that's more like it, man. <laughs> it's like a fucking Benny Hill skin. That's amazing. They should just put all that to Benny Hill music, can it? <laughs> That'd be easy enough to do. They're only 30 fucking frames per second anyway. It's weird because it's so fast, but the music isn't faster. 
this would not be possible on the ST, you know. I'm not stupid. I just know more about the ST and Amiga than most people, technically. Ooh, time limit. Wow, we're getting better. And while he's meditating before destroying me, I'll just fucking stick a knife in his fucking face and kill him through the eyes. What a stupid thing to say. Chan Li is really my only character that I like to play, so yeah, deal with it, mate. And it's not a fucking pervy sexual thing. I just like the graphics more. Like she got proper shoes on for a start. He's a real bastard, hitting me against him straight away. What a cunt. So not only is it fucking ridiculously fast, but... Uh, So it's ridiculously fast, but at the same time it's ridiculously difficult as well. I don't know, this is a, a fucking pound coin swallowing machine, mate. We actually won, but not by uh, killing him. Ask any racer, winning's winning. Doesn't matter if you win by one pixels, uh, two pixels or three pixels. Jesus Christ, this, this is, this, yeah, you know what, put the uh, Street Fighter 2 on the uh, Super Nintendo release next to this, one all, and uh, yeah, you, you, could, you could just put the logo underneath, last processing, mate. <laughs> I had the, and this is a PAL version of the game, let's not forget that. This is not an NTSC game. This is why I want to buy an NTSC uh, Seeker Mega Drive, because I can plug my own bloody power adapter in there from the UK. I only need the console, tested working replacement console. We uh, resisted a lot longer than most people can resist seven of nine. There's no point actually continuing, really, because you, you're on the first level. It's like manic mining when you get stuffed on level one, you lose a life. You're like, well, I've got 20 more fucking levels. Reset city, boy. Or in the case of the uh, C64. Why ain't that thing working? He's, he's actually really tough and, there's, and to play a different character I need to pick a different character which is unfair I paid for the whole fucking game you cunt I want to see her do the uh, leg movements really fucking fast but you can't because you're already doing them at that fucking speed I guess I can't remember how to do stupid spinning bird kicks and all that shit. This is an example of a well programmed uh, beat em up. You punch them and you kick them. And you can't. Alright, you can make that go fast. You've got to press the C button. C for cunt for not using the A button. Yeah, when I find my Saturn, I'm going to show you um, the, this joypad, the original Mega Drive joypad, and then the Sega Saturn original joypad that came out for the Japanese Saturn. So, 
are the first two stars of difficulty. Let's have a look then. Yeah, let's be honest, if you had a game like this on the Amiga, you wouldn't give a fuck how many times you had to swap discs and how long it took to load. I think it was actually slower. So my skills are weak at the, the hyperspeed. Hyperspace, Street Fighter Hyperspace Edition. Wait, you fucking cocksucker. Put some shoes on in it, you cunt. Oh, right. No, it's so close. Whoa, that is as close as you get. Like I said, ask any racer. Winning's winning. It doesn't matter if you win by two pixels or 20 pixels on the energy bar. Nah, I just wanna fucking get out of here, you fucking He's a real fucking clingy bastard. Surprised with that fucking stupid haircut. Probably not gonna get many dates in his life. Ah, fuck off, man. Get the fuck out of it. Nah, it's not as fast, so the difficulty and the speed increase. Is it just my reaction time then? Is the ultimate version of Shadow Fighter then one that just runs 400% the speed of the uh, regular one? Yeah, Shadow Fighter CD32 is not that great, mate. Certainly not pushing the machine. The thing is, why would you use the punches and are oh, you fucking cunt? That is a great game. Yeah, no. If you had to wait, I don't know how long you did actually have to wait, but if you had to wait, um, I don't know, six or nine months for this Street Fighter 2 cartridge, it's absolutely fine. And the samples, you know, they, they sound a lot better on this thing uh, than the, uh, the Mega Drives that come after it. This is the uh, high definition graphics and stereo sound labelled uh, edition. Again with a fucking USA bruv. And why is USA on the wrong side of the map? That's a bit weird isn't it? Yeah, I need to practice the moves really. Yeah you know what? Reset City for you boy. We're gonna do a two player game now. This is great. The hyper uh, space button is fantastic. Right, I'm gonna be her. And uh, it's a good thing I've got the original uh, Mega Drive drop. Actually, I could try the Mega Drive drop better. So let's, uh, let's let little Chun Li have her uh, costume change. Probably like that in it. And uh, yeah, the buttons do work on this. Thank fuck for that. Oh look, you can pick the stage. That's fantastic. I think you have to do it with the uh, player one controller. Though. So special moves. Hang on, special. Moves. Yes, you definitely want that. Don't tell you how to do them though. <coughs> Start to get out of that. Now, which stages do I actually like? Uh, that's the one in the uh, sumo... Uh, sumo... I don't know, sauna thing, whatever, Turkish bath, you fucking know what they're called. 
like USB is serial when you no, I don't like the Spain one. I want the boat one. Ah oh, well let's do China. Chan Li and Chan Li on Chan Li stage. Please excuse things. So they can't change their attack level sneakily while you're picking the stage for them. Yeah, I'll do the lowest attack level, man. Let's do that. And then just as they're about to press fire, they ramp it up to the maximum and then they uh, get fucked. I bet that happened. Look at that. I think the grey looks nicer there. one that you accidentally can do anyway. This is one of my favourite levels actually. Alright, uh, let's try the other joypad. Where are you mate? The old, uh, the old one two. Is this one bad? Yeah, the buttons are a bit iffy. Do you have to play it with a Street Fighter controller? That's interesting. Good thing I've got one then, isn't it? I actually got two of these. Not that anyone's allowed to come around and play on any of this shit. Are you crazy? You could be some international retro uh, hardware thief. Plotting to get my empire of retro. <laughs> I like the fact that you can just push him around. That's a bit weird. Those background graphics are just weird. Anyone that looks remotely normal is the guy in the back there between the two chum leads. Is he actually, um, like, you know, feeling the beat of this shit music? This is fantastic. I just, I just find it fascinating. There we go. The sign is probably my favourite. Uh, of course, the first thing some idiot from US Gold would say is, oh, just do colour cycling. But you can't then, because you waste uh, an extra two colours. That's pretty damn good. And that's the end of Street Fighter for you, boy.